<sighs> Alright, what's up family? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're not in the studio. Oh my gosh, how close do you want to park to my car? Jeez. I, uh, as you can see, not in the studio. Just uh, in uh, the car, getting ready to order some pizza because Domino's has this really cool thing here uh, that they're doing a limited time only. It is a freaking Aussie snag pizza. So in Australia, they call a sausage a snag, like it's one of their slangs for a sausage. And in Australia, the Aussie sausage is super popular. So you go to like the the warehouse store, like you go to this place called Bunnings, um, they have this Aussie sausage, the, the snag. They call it, uh, I think it's called the snag pizza or something, I'm not sure. But when you go to Bunnings, you get the snag. It's, um, and it's on white bread, like just regular white bread, you know, like Wonder Bread. <laughs> And then they put some ketchup mustard on that bad boy, some of their grilled onions, and boom. That's that's how they roll with it. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. So so they decided here in Domino's Australia to make an Aussie version of that with mustard and ketchup and the snag, aka sausage. And uh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what it's about. It's limited time only. I wasn't planning on having this it was I'd rather go and cook something myself but limited time only I may never have the opportunity again so here we go guys one of the cool things about Domino's over here which probably everywhere is doing the whole curbside thing now but so you can order in the app here and then you can choose you can say hey bring it to my car and you don't even have to go in to pick it up so you don't it's like having delivery to your house but to your car I mean if it <laughs> if it wasn't COVID uh, I wouldn't care I'm not that lazy <laughs> I can go inside and pick up my own pizza but uh, because it's COVID I'm like hell yeah that's what I'm talking about so so I'm super excited about that and uh, we're, we're doing it now we're, we're literally going to order right now from the app and uh, I'm literally as we talk right now I'm ordering which is pretty cool this is dope so we're, we're gonna click on uh, special offers um, Domino's Pizza let's check Domino's Pizza Domino's Pizza's where's the special one how do I get to the special one they, us they usually have the ad just at the top of the screen there so that you can uh, see it man if i've missed out on this special freaking thing i am going to be annoyed i drove 30 minutes to get here 30 minutes where is it at yo don't tell me this one is not doing it i will yo oh my gosh dude do not don't tell me that i do not see it on here so far this could be a problem, Houston. Uh, this video could be a fail before it even started. It's not showing up advertised at the top of the thing. Let me scroll through here, man. Oh, they got it. They got it. They got it. It's called the sausage sizzle. That's what they're calling it. Let me go ahead and select that. Uh... <laughs> I was about to be like, yo, come on, you tripping. You can't make any changes to it? Well, I guess I don't need to make any changes to it. So it's got barbecue beef sausage, grilled onion, and stretchy mozzarella on a barbecue base. Ugh, topped with tomato sauce and mustard. Barbecue base. I, I don't like barbecue base piece of... But they won't let you change this one. You you have to take it as it is. Why is that? I can't change the sauce. I'd rather just regular pizza sauce, man. But I guess if you're doing a taste test, 
it's good to be as authentic as possible when possible. I mean, I can, at least I like barbecue sauce. It's weird. I like barbecue sauce, just not on pizza. I love barbecue sauce. Again, just not pizza, but maybe the mix will work. Maybe the sausage with the whole mustard ketchup and the barbecue sauce together with the cheese, maybe it'll work. I don't know, man. So let's, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and try that out. All right, so. Yeah, they, they're not letting you change anything on this one. They're like, nah, you take it as it is. <laughs> All right, I guess we ordering it. Here we go. Uh, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, I'm just waiting for the pizza. So while I was waiting, I thought I'd talk to you guys. Because... Well, I'm waiting. I need to do something. I timed this really bad. Really, really bad. It's like, first of all, the weather today, the day I decide to go out, wouldn't you, wouldn't you know it? It is freaking like all rainy, cloudy, like weather. Like, I can't believe it. The weather is just like, eh. It was raining earlier. It's freaking been like super, like, just also timing-wise. Those cloudy, overcast skies mean it's not as bright as I would like it to be in the car right now, which would be good if it was more light in here. But it is what it is. I mean, y'all can still see me a bit, can't you? If I'm moving over here a bit, can y'all see me guys? Uh, y'all still see me. I can see me, so if I can see me, you can see me. <laughs> I could have chose anywhere to park in this parking lot too. I think if I chose a different angle, I might have been able to get a little bit more light too, but it's just overcast now. It's overcast, it's weird. Um, but this pizza, man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be weird. Like I said, I'm not a barbecue freaking sauce pizza person. I just like the regular pizza sauce. Like, what's wrong with it? Why, why mess with perfection? You know what I mean? Why? <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. They got this tracker thing on the app too, lets you know just how far away they are to order. Well, this says it's ready now. Rate your order, estimated pick time. What? How can the, oh, the app's messing up. App says estimated pick time 611, car park delivery check-in. I haven't got a message saying it's ready yet. It's only been five minutes. I mean, they're fast, they ain't that fast. I think the app just messed up. I ain't received the message. The reason I drove 30 minutes, just so you guys know, there is technically, there is a closer Domino's to me. Um, there's actually probably three closer ones I could have went to. But this one here, they're kind of like my go-to because they were near the recording studio. Um, and um, they generally like get it right all the time, you know, with the pieces. You know, like usually the toppings are like, you know, what they should be. They don't skimp out. The piece is hot. You know, it's made properly. Like I tend to feel like they do a better job here. You know what I mean? So... That's why I kind of come out here and like the guy who manages the place, um, he's all like, you know, he's always really cool and stuff. He's a cool dude and stuff. So, you know, that's just why like, but that's weird, man. The tracker usually is on point and be like, yo, piece is ready. And it usually is on point, but and that kind of look right now. The tracker ain't working. So. I guess we just sit here and wait. I guess we just sit here and wait. I should receive a text message when it's ready, like before. Is that him? Is he looking for me? No. I 
guy's going to the toilet. Man, y'all hurry and bring my piece out. They're usually quicker. I'm getting no correspondence. What's going on? Tracker ain't tracking. Usually the tracker works perfectly all the time. And like when it says it's ready on the tracker, you better believe it. It is ready. But my tracker is saying it's ready, but none. It's very weird. It's the first time that I've ever had that happen. Ever. Ever, ever in the history of Domino's. I've never had the tracker track incorrectly. Well, actually one time, now that I think about it, I did have them say the pizza was ready. And I went inside the store. It was like, hey, I'm here for my pizza. And they were like, psych. It ain't ready. Yo. This is odd. And unusual. I wonder if I should call the store. I think I'm gonna call the store, guys. Something's gone funny, cause estimated pickup time 6:05. It says it was ready at 6:05. The app tracker says 6:11. My pizza should be out. No one's freaking bringing me doo doo. Well, I hope not. No one wants to be brought doo doo. <laughs> I'm gonna call them, man. What the hell? Disappointing. They're usually so good. Some, there's been a flaw in the chain of command here. Let's call him. Hey, this is Gustav from Dominus. We're now talking about you. Yeah, hey, uh, I ordered um, on the app, and uh, the tracker is saying it's ready, um, but I haven't received uh, a message from you guys, uh, you know, or you, no one's brought it out to my car. It says it was ready like five minutes ago, six minutes ago, so I thought I better call just to see what's going on. Okay, so that's that's a car park, though? Yeah, car park, yeah. Okay, what um what name is it under? I'll check Faith. check the box for you. Faith, F A I T A. Faith. 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 Oh, Faith. Yeah. Okay. Like you um, have faith. let me go have a look. <laughs> Thanks. What um what car are you in? An Audi. An Audi. Yeah, okay. convertible. All right. Blue. Well, uh, I'll have a look. Give me one second. All right. Thanks. Here he comes. Okay. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Sorry about that. That's all right, man. Have a good one. You too. All right, guys. My theory was right. The pizza was ready, and they just didn't bring it out for whatever reason. The whole chain of command with the whole, <laughs> the one time I decided to record for you guys and tell you about how cool their car, you know, bringing out to the curbside thing is and whatnot and how, how this Domino's is the best one's always on it. Uh, something goes wrong. I don't know what went wrong. It's either the app or either the tracking thing, like their system inside, I don't know. Anyways, the pizza's here now. So we are gonna go ahead and uh, let's check it out. Oh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let me show y'all what we're working with here. So that's it there. 
So you can see mustard ketchup, sausage, some cheese, and uh, barbecue sauce crust base. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. This is crazy. This is crazy. I hope I like it because I don't know, man. There's definitely possibility that, but it has all things on it that I like. That's what's really strange. That's why I don't understand why I don't like barbecue pizza, like, you know, sauce pizza, because it has the stuff on it that I like. I'm just doing my clean my hands stuff that I do. You all know I'll be doing all that on the best of days, let alone in a pandemic. Pandemic. I was gonna say papademic. <laughs> Alright. Let me go ahead. Now I, I do the white wipes. Wet white white wipes. I can't even speak now. I do the wet wipes first and then I go ahead and I hit it up, follow it up with some of this um sanitizer action. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Oh yeah. yeah, I can feel the cleaniness already. Yo, your drink's on the car. Yo, your drink's on the car. Oh, <laughs> I'll try to tell your drink, okay. She drinks on her car. She has a bottle of orange juice on the top of her car driving and it's a glass bottle. So, yo, that glass, it fall off and could break your window or something put a dent in your trunk all right let's go ahead and taste this let's go ahead and taste this here Man, let me grab one of these all right y'all this is what we're working with here gotta get that thumbnail all right let's go ahead Um, let me get another piece that has some more meat on it. Cause you don't get a lot of sausage on it. All I can taste is mustard and ketchup. All right, here's a better piece. Let's try this one here. It's got onions on it as well. Um, it, it literally tastes like mainly I just have barbecue, mustard, ketchup on some bread with some cheese because you don't get enough of the sausage taste. Like when you taste it, take a bite with the sausage action. It's okay, you know, like you can, it, it tastes like one of those Aussie style uh, sausages that you get at Bunnings. That's the name of the main hardware store over here. They do them out front. It tastes like it, like it, it tastes like it. Um, but you can definitely get that sensation that that's what you're having. But I feel like there's not enough of the like sausage on here to really you know, like the ratio of, of mustard to ketchup to barbecue sauce to bread to meat to cheese, like 
there's too much of the other stuff and not enough of the sausage I think and definitely it's just all the sauces are overpowering everything else if you ask me that's just that's my initial feels on this though I mean it don't taste bad even though I'm not a barbecue sauce you know person as you guys know for a pizza but then again I ain't never been a ketchup and mustard person for a pizza I ain't never done it before It tastes good though. Like I'm not hating on it. it. Definitely, it's definitely okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it it works. There's onions on it too. You can. They've got some onions on here. The red onions, which I like. Hmm. So. It's different. I think it's one of those kind of things like, you know, like it's good. It's not bad. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think once you eat more of it and you get used to it, it tastes better because initially... You know, you got to get used to a different sensation. I'm having a pizza with mustard, ketchup, <laughs> barbecue sauce, um, Aussie-style sausages, and and some onions and cheese and cr like it's a different thing. But it actually works. It tastes good. It kind of tastes like sometimes you know when you're at home and you fry up some some sausages or some hot dogs or something. You know what I mean? And you go ahead and you put them on a toasted bun. Like, you know, if you, you ever toast your bun really crispy, like put it like oven toast. I'm talking about the outside and the inside is crispy. And then you, you put some, you know, ketchup, mustard, cheese on it. That's what it tastes like. So it tastes good. Like it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Mm, y'all. Mm hmm. I just had a good piece. The mustard was right on that sausage and it just it just smacked like crazy that was good all right I'm gonna take a big bite mmm Okay, that's how you gotta eat this one, guys. You gotta take a big bite so that you get everything in that hit. So you're gonna wanna take a big bite. <laughs> Watch this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's how you gotta do that. If you take a big bite, you get sausage, meat, if you get everything in there, you get the the mustard ketchup, the whole experience together. Mmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm. Oh! Sausage just fell off. I don't have enough of them to be wasting. I'm making a mess now. Hey, I don't have any wet wipes queued up. I normally do. All right. Let's talk about this pizza here. Mm. Um. It was interesting. Um. You know. Like I said, you know, it, it tastes all right. Um, if I was giving it a score, you know, for originality factor, we take in factor of originality. Because originality wise, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. Originality wise, it's something different. You know what I mean? Like I've never, I've never experienced that that taste before. So, originality wise, I'd give it some points for originality. Um, like I'd do that for originality. Like you know, it's a different type of pizza. You know, like um, that they decided to, you know, experiment with. I like that. I like when people step out the box, try something different. So originality, they get points for originality. Um, the ingredients themselves, like the sausage and everything, you know, it tastes good. It's Domino's, you know, Domino's uses premium ingredients and stuff. So it tastes, tastes like quality, you know, Domino's quality. Pizza was made picture perfect, as you guys saw. You know, they had it all evenly, you know, like the design process was good. You know, you saw the mustard coming across, the ketchup, all that. Um, my only complaint, I would say, it, it needed more sausage to really feel, um, to complement all the sauce, because it was just, it was just a one big saucy experience, really, you know, like, you could really taste the sauce more than anything else. The mustard was the thing you could taste more than anything else. Um, and, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because some of the pieces, when you had a piece of sausage, ketchup, mustard, cheese, the whole nine, it was very memorable. It was actually really nice. It popped a little bit. Um, but overall, if I was giving this a score out of 10, hmm, I think I would do a, I'm gonna do, taking into account also that I'm not really a barbecue sauce on piece of person. I just, it's just not my thing. So I'm, 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 I'm going to add an extra point because I realize that's just me. That's just a me thing. You know, if it had been tomato sauce, um, I would have probably felt differently from the get go. So, so I'm going to say, um, I'm going to give it a 
Because I feel like it was good. It was original, it was different. Originality got points. Um, it was hot. I mean, I'm not gonna deduct points for the fact that the tractor tracker thing went wrong and I had to call up the store to get the pizza bought out because I won't take points out for that. That's a technical error that who's to blame there, you know, that could be corporate. You don't know, <laughs> corporate's app needs an update to version 89.372 I don't know you know so so I'm not gonna take points off of that um, plus I noticed Domino's like I said they're they're always generally on point you know every once in a while something's going on always anyways in life so yeah that's my review of the new Domino's sausage sizzle pizza now that I know the name of it I was calling it snag pizza and all kinds of stuff early on I didn't know it was called sausage sizzle makes sense because that's what they call it a sausage sizzle so I, I get that <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's getting dark. I'm in this video right here. I will catch you on the next one. As always, remember, we just went to the full list and keep it off tap. Peace out.